We've been talking about this. It might not feel like fall out there, but communities all across the state gearing up for another round of fall festivals this weekend. News 8's Tina Detail has a roundup of where you can head out this weekend with the family. Crews are already setting up for Saturday's fall festival. There is a lot going on around the state as well as here along the shoreline. While aircraft enthusiasts fly into Groton New London Airport, the 12th annual Groton Fall Festival fills Pequannock Plains Park this weekend. We have over 90 booths from local businesses from all over the area and we have people that have services, people who have products. Many of those will be competing in a scarecrow contest, hoping to scare up support from festival goers like Harbor Baranis and Ayla Woods. Their favorite is face painting. I'm going to get it from a tiger. Ooh, nice. I'm going to be Spider-Man. Fall festival season is now in full swing. Here's a look at what's happening around the state. The Southington Apple Harvest Festival, the Connecticut Renaissance Fair in Lebanon, Westfield Community Carnival in Middletown, the Harwinton Fair, the Portland Agricultural Fair, Celebrate Wallingford, Taste of Wallingford, the Garlic and Harvest Festival in Bethlehem, Pumpkins on the Pier in Milford. There are also fall festivals in Groton, Warren, and Stratford along with the Scotland Highland Festival. Back in Groton, the free family fun begins at 11 a.m. with food, games, and entertainment. There will be some martial arts kinds of demonstrations. Mm -hmm. There will be a country dancing demonstration. It should be a lot of fun. While this festival is Saturday only, the Renaissance Fair in Lebanon goes through Monday, Columbus Day. In Groton, Tina Detell, News 8.